Many people take cetirizine for allergies, but are often unaware of its potential side effects. Have you experienced feeling very sleepy and tired? Have you noticed any weight gain? Has it affected your mood? And have you heard of something called cetirizine withdrawal? These are questions that I get asked in my clinic. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about cetirizine, especially what it does to the body and about its specific side effects. And I will also answer these specific questions at the end of the video, because I truly believe that you should be fully informed when making a decision about taking any medication. So let's get started. So what is cetirizine? Cetirizine is an antihistamine medicine that helps the symptoms of allergies. It's used to treat hay fever, conjunctivitis, which is a red itchy eye, eczema, hives, also known as urticaria, reactions to insect bites and stings, and some food allergies. Cetirizine is known as a non-drowsy antihistamine as it is less sedating than other antihistamines, but some people still find it makes them feel quite sleepy. Now it comes as tablets, capsules and as a liquid that you swallow. For the purposes of this video, I will be talking about cetirizine for adults, even though it is commonly given to children. So how does cetirizine work? When you come into contact with something you're allergic to, such as pollen, animal hair or fur, your body produces a chemical called histamine. Now usually histamine is a useful substance but in an allergic reaction, it causes unpleasant symptoms, including itchy, watery eyes, a runny or blocked nose, sneezing and skin rashes. Cetirizine blocks the effects of histamine and reduces these symptoms. And so cetirizine is a type of medicine called an antihistamine. So who cannot take cetirizine? People who have ever had an allergic reaction to cetirizine or any other medicine or have an allergy to food additives, or have an allergy to peanuts or soya. Now, some brands of cetirizine capsules contain soya, but not the tablets. If you have kidney failure, if you have epilepsy or another health problem that puts you at risk of having seizures or fits, if you have a condition that means you have difficulty peeing, or if you are due to have an allergy test, taking cetirizine may affect the results so you might need to stop taking it for a few days before the test. How and when do you take cetirizine? Cetirizine tablets and capsules come as a strength of 10 milligrams. The usual dose for adults is 10 milligrams once a day. It can be taken with or without food, but always take the tablets or capsules with a drink of water, swallow them whole and don't chew them. You may only need to take cetirizine on the day you have symptoms. For example, if you've been in contact with something that has triggered your allergy, like animal hair. Or you may need to take it regularly to prevent symptoms, for example, to stop hay fever during spring and summer. So what should you avoid? Tell your doctor if you regularly use other medicines that make you sleepy, such as other cold or allergy medicines, opioid pain relievers, also known as narcotic pain medicine in the US, sleeping pills, muscle relaxants, and medicine for seizures, depression, or anxiety, because they can add to the sleepiness caused by cetirizine. Cetirizine can also cause side effects that may impair your thinking or reactions. Be careful if you drive or do anything that requires you to be awake and alert, such as operating machinery and avoid drinking alcohol because this can increase some of the side effects of cetirizine. So what are the common side effects? Feeling sleepy and tiredness, headaches, dry mouth, feeling sick, feeling dizzy, diarrhea, sore throat, and sneezing or blocked and runny nose, which is more common in children. So what are the serious side effects? Now stop using cetirizine and call your doctor at once if you have any of these serious side effects. Bruising or bleeding that's more than normal. Fast pounding or uneven heartbeat. Weakness, tremors or sleeping problems. Severe restless feeling. Hyperactivity. Confusion. 
problems with vision, or urinating less than usual or not at all, and get emergency medical help if you have any serious allergic reaction to cetirizine. Now, these are not all the side effects. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Now, I will discuss how to cope with side effects of cetirizine in a separate video, so be sure to subscribe. So let's get started with answering the question about extreme tiredness and fatigue. As I mentioned at the start, histamine is produced by the body in response to you being allergic to something. But histamine is also produced in the brain, where it plays an important part in feeling awake. So antihistamines like cetirizine can get into the brain and interrupt this important function, and this results in making you feel drowsy. To avoid daytime drowsiness, I would advise to take an antihistamine in the evening rather than in the morning. It may help you sleep with drowsy effects wearing off by the next morning, but do be aware that drowsiness can last longer than you might expect. Now, can cetirizine cause weight gain? In short, yes, and it is listed as a side effect in the manufacturer's leaflet. This is because histamine release in your body reduces your appetite, which in turn reduces your food intake because it makes you feel less hungry. Now, taking an antihistamine like cetirizine works by blocking the histamine, and animal studies have shown that blocking histamine may result in eating more than normal. What's more, antihistamines can cause drowsiness which will also make you less active, which in turn causes weight gain. Now, a study found that adults taking antihistamines had a higher average weight compared to people who weren't taking them. They also had a larger waist circumference, which suggests there may be a link. And with this in mind, weight gain may be more likely if you're taking antihistamines long term. So does cetirizine affect your mood? Yes, there are many reports of cetirizine causing depression, confusion, hallucinations and even suicidal ideation. These are all listed in the manufacturer's leaflet as possible side effects. Remember, antihistamines like cetirizine can get into the brain and interrupt histamine's normal function, thereby affecting your mood. If you are concerned about any of these symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider. And lastly, I'm going to answer the question about cetirizine withdrawal syndrome. According to reports submitted to the FDA, the most commonly experienced symptom from cetirizine withdrawal is unbearable itching that happens within a couple of days of stopping the medication. And this ranges in intensity from mild to severe. Other symptoms include hives, vivid dreams and headaches. Itching from cetirizine withdrawal can be so severe, occurring all over the body and even as a moving itch that travels from place to place, making it difficult to relieve. Some people report that the itching is so bad they end up damaging their skin from all the scratching and are unable to sleep due to the discomfort. The cetirizine withdrawal occurs in three phases as shown here and lasts approximately seven days. If you've been taking cetirizine for long periods of time, such as months or years, you might want to consider discontinuing the medication by slowly lowering your daily dose to avoid experiencing these withdrawal symptoms. I will provide the links to all these studies below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted each week and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos. And please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you've enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. You can also check out my other videos and playlist.